Everyday English Conversation Practice Sarah was absent from class. Her teacher asks her several questions, and she replies in different ways. Listen carefully, as this can help you improve your English speaking skills. Sarah, why were you absent from class yesterday? I had a bad headache and wasn't feeling well. My car broke down on the way to school. There was a family emergency I needed to attend to. My pet was sick and I had to take it to the vet. I had to attend a doctor's appointment. My alarm clock didn't go off and I overslept. My child was sick and I had to stay home with them. I had a job interview I couldn't miss. I was feeling extremely anxious and needed to take a mental health day. I had a family member visiting from out of town. I had an important meeting I needed to attend. My partner was sick and I had to take care of them. I was dealing with a personal issue and needed some time off. My home was being fumigated and I couldn't be there. I got lost on my way to school and couldn't find the classroom. Sarah, did you do your homework? Show me your homework. No, I didn't do it. I was really tired after staying up late studying for a test and didn't have the energy to work on my homework. I'm sorry, I didn't have time to finish it. I had to help my parents with some errands after school. I got stuck on a few questions and wasn't able to complete the whole assignment. Can you help me understand the problems better? I forgot to bring my textbook home, so I wasn't able to complete the homework. I'll make sure to bring it home next time. I had a family emergency last night and wasn't able to work on the homework. Is it okay if I turn it in a day late? Sarah, how do you practice your English language? I practice my English by reading books and articles in English. I watch TV shows and movies in English to improve my listening skills. I listen to podcasts and news broadcasts in English. I write in a journal in English to improve my writing skills. I practice speaking with my friends who also speak English. I take online English language courses. I use English language learning apps and websites. I join English language conversation groups or clubs. I use language exchange platforms to practice speaking with native English speakers. I listen to English music and try to understand the lyrics. I play online English language games and quizzes. I practice with English language flashcards to improve my vocabulary. I attend English language classes or workshops. I watch YouTube videos or tutorials in English. I practice reading and writing English by using social media in English. Sarah, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling pretty terrible, actually. To be honest, I feel pretty awful right now. I'm not doing well at all. I'm feeling really down and depressed. I'm struggling a lot lately. I'm feeling pretty hopeless. I'm not in a good place mentally or emotionally. I'm feeling overwhelmed and stressed out. I'm not feeling like myself today. I'm feeling really anxious and on edge. I'm not feeling very positive about things right now. I'm feeling pretty upset and frustrated. I'm feeling pretty angry and resentful. I'm not feeling very motivated or inspired at the moment. 
I'm feeling pretty disappointed and discouraged. I am feeling under the weather today. I am suffering from a headache. I have a cold and my nose is running. I have been coughing a lot lately, so I think I might be getting sick. I am feeling really tired and fatigued. I have a fever and my body aches all over. I think I might have food poisoning because I feel nauseous and have been vomiting. I am allergic to pollen, so my allergies are acting up again. I have a sore throat and it hurts to swallow. I have a stomachache and I think I might have eaten something that didn't agree with me. I have a rash on my skin and I'm not sure what it is. I am feeling dizzy and lightheaded. I have a toothache and need to see a dentist. I have a sprained ankle and it hurts to walk. I have a chronic illness and need to take medication every day to manage it. I hope these sentences are helpful for your English conversation practice. Remember, being honest and taking responsibility shows maturity and a willingness to work on improving in the future. It also helps build trust and a good relationship with your teacher. Remember, the best way to improve your English language skills is to practice regularly and immerse yourself in the language as much as possible. Try different methods and find what works best for you. Good luck!